Welcome to the Cigna Stormstrider Battle Engine Assembly video. The Cigna Stormstrider Battle Engine comes in 19 pieces including the base. The first thing I put together were the top four parts of the Stormstrider's legs and the bottom part of its body as you can see in the picture. Then attach the four lower parts of its leg to the upper parts of its leg. Once the lower body of the Stormstrider was complete, I then started working on the upper body. I attached its Tesla coils and its disc together. Then without gluing it on, I put the round ball inside the disc and the Tesla coils. I wanted the ball to rotate and give it a rotating feel as you see in the video. As you can see the Storm Strider model is a fantastic beautiful sculpt and it looks absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to get it on the, on the tabletop. Now the upper body and the lower body of the Storm Strider were complete with the exception of putting on the two men. I attached the, the rails on the top part as you can see. My next step was to attach the upper body and lower body together and what I did is I pinned it with a P3 brass wires and I didn't glue the top part and the bottom part together because I wanted the top part to rotate a full 360. The next step was to spray the Storm Strider and coat it with black using the P3 spray. I then based the parts that I wanted to give that Signar blue with the Signar blue base color. Then I went over it with a Signar blue highlight. Then I moved to paint parts of the Storm Strider a metallic silver to give a nice effect on the model. As you can see I detached the electric ball and put it uh, on the modeling mat to paint it all silver. I then worked on the rails and the bits and the shins of the legs and the Tesla coil parts and gave it a nice bronze metallic effect to give the model a bit more definition. Using the tips, the painting tips in the RAF book from Privateer Press, I started painting the inside uh, holes and circles as they suggested to give it sort of like an electric kind of tangy look and I would suggest you to look inside the Privateer Press graphic war machine expansion book as it gives you a guide on how to do the Tesla coils and the rings. I also painted outside of the rings a nice bronze to give the model a bit more definition. The next step was to paint the two engineers, the two men, the electricians and uh, that was a fun process to do and I followed the guidelines on the cover of the box. Once that was done I started to work on the base and that was a lot of fun to do. Once again as you can see this model is fantastic, extraordinarily beautiful and it looks good on the tabletop as well I look forward to playing with it. It was a lot of fun to paint. And I hope you enjoy this video cast and I hope you look out for more.